Gosh, this really is amazing. I can't get over how sturdy and strong they make these things now. Yep. You know, my relationship could use construction like this. Where did I put those crib instructions? You don't speak Danish. <gasps> then I'm gonna be alone forever. Alone? Sit down. How can you say that you're alone? All those ladies came out to see you tonight. It gave you presents. You're not alone. No, I know. I'm just... It's more than one kind of alone. Yeah, I know. I've, I've been there. While pregnant. And it's not fun. So have you thought about calling? Um... I don't really want to go there. Not tonight. No pressure. <laughs> Just a suggestion. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of the trash. Okay. Hey, but don't go far. I really, I want to have that nightcap with you. It's seltzer for me. Deal. Okay. Sick. She was here. She was in my room, Lizzie. She was here. She did this. What would she do? God, I can't believe this. Well, hang on. We can't automatically assume that it's Lizzie. Who else would do this on the know. night of my baby shower? Well, look, there's no there's no signs of it was her. She won't leave me alone. Calm down. Okay. Oh, look, I know you're upset, but what do you say we try to, you know, just walk through this? Okay, just humor me, all right? Who else has access to this room? Or who has a key? Philip has a key. No, right? no, definitely not. There is a master key, but security never lets it out of the safe. Well, you could have left the door open yourself. You might have been in a hurry to get somewhere. Like a baby shower? I, can you rule it out? What difference does it make whether she walks through the door or flew in through the window? She was here in my room. This is the message she left, that my baby is a target. No, your baby is fine. Until, for how long? To the next accident she rigs up for me? You're convinced that Lizzie's gonna keep coming after you, aren't okay, you? maybe we shouldn't go into this right now. You just you? think I'm the girl who cried wolf, don't you? No, actually I don't. I saw you take that header down the stairs, remember? And I also saw Lizzie. She was watching the whole thing, just like it was a, like a movie. One she directed. I thought Lizzie was getting help. Well, she is. Her mother told me that she's being kept inside at home and that she's, she's having some intensive therapy yeah, well, with Christopher Langham. she wasn't kept home tonight. Yeah, the irony is Dr. Langham came by earlier to warn me that Lizzie might be a threat to my baby. Might. It's stupid me. I just told him I could handle the situation, that I wasn't going to give in to paranoia. Look at me. You have got to No, go I down. did what everyone else did. I underestimated her. She's not just troubled. She's out of control. And this, this is her warning. This is what this is all about. She's telling me that if I take her father, she's going to take my baby. Here. <sighs> what are you going to do to protect me from her? Well, there's not a lot we can do, actually. Why not? It's harassment at the very I, least. I agree with you, but A, we cannot prove that it was actually Lizzie that put that doll's head in the crib, and B, Lizzie's a minor. So what, she gets to terrorize me to her heart's content? We're not gonna let that happen, okay? Nobody has stopped her so far. Look, for weeks now, I've taken the high road with this girl, okay? I've told myself that she's troubled, that she, she could get help. But after this, I just want her gone. The farther, the better. She's a menace to me and my child, and whatever it is that Philip and Beth and the rest of the family think they're doing for her, it's not working. Now, I want you to protect me, okay? Isn't that your job, to protect the public? Why don't you help Olivia get to bed, okay? 
should rest, you know. What about Lizzie? No plans for her? <sighs> Let me see what I can do, okay? Part of me feels like an idiot for being scared of a teenage girl, but then I just get a flash of those doll's eyes staring up at me. I got the doll's head in my room. I'm going to keep it there. We might need it for evidence later. Okay, what about Lizzie? I think her parents understand that the matter is serious. Well, I've heard that before. And every time they say they're going to get her help, she ends up in my face again. Well, you don't have to worry about being alone, because I'm going to stay here with you tonight, okay? No, I can't ask you to do that. Well, you're not asking. I'm volunteering. I just need to go tell Tammy where I am, all right? Okay. Okay. I'll... I'll stay with Olivia while you do that. Okay. I won't be long. I don't remember the last time I screamed like that. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's a good thing you don't do it too often, because that was pretty harrowing. Uh -huh. Imagine what it was like on this end. This might be hard to believe, but I was once considered nerveless all business, a general pain in this town. Oh, yeah? Well, don't worry. Your, your lousy reputation's safe with me. <laughs> <laughs> 